Hey, what's going on guys? This is just gonna be a quick first video as we unbox and go through all the stuff that we've got here for this Voron V 2.4 version two build. We've got all the plastic parts here. Uh, this wasn't the Print It Forward program. I actually just got these from a guy on the Discord. Uh, he had a bunch of pictures posted of stuff that he was selling and it all looked pretty good. So that seemed like an easy way to do it for me. Let's switch you over here. There we go. I was kind of, I was originally, I wanted to do this all myself, you know, print all the pieces, um, but I didn't want to try and get the Ender printing ABS. Um, I know people say you can put it in a box or put a box on it or, or I don't know, do weird things. Um, but I've got it set up and for me, it prints PLA really well and I just, I don't want to change it. Um, I also, I spend a lot of time traveling for work and I didn't want to come home and spend, you know, a week or two or I don't know, however long trying to get it to print ABS and then actually have to go through and print all these pieces. So, bought the parts, saved a bunch of time, saved a bunch of headache, off to the races we go. One of my first goals once this is up and running is going to be to reprint all these pieces and switch them out with my pieces and then have these just as a backup. So I do want to pretty quick out of the gate once everything's dialed in and it's it's producing quality parts is convert it back over to a build that's truly mine. So I do want to get there but it's just going to kind of be a uh, longer longer path than originally thought. But. These do look like they turned out pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, so the intent of this whole thing, uh, recording it and posting it and everything, is that, uh, like I said, so I travel a lot for work. Sometimes I might be gone for a week, two, three, sometimes it's a couple of months, you never really know, and it's all over the place. Uh, but I'm always working on projects like this, and what always seems to happen is that I, I go on a trip, I spent a bunch of time sitting in a hotel, researching a project, you know, learning everything I can, coming up with all the, you know, the game plan so that when I come home, I, I just work, 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 work on it. And then I go back to work and I forget everything that's all gone. So this is just a means for me to document and keep track of what I'm doing. And that's kind of what the whole doozy.pro website thing was or is, is that it's just a place that I can constantly keep a running up to date um, kind of like a repos uh, repository of where where I'm at on everything. Um, so all the different projects that are kind of running concurrently, even the smaller, simpler things, uh, I just I can pick up right where I left off. Even if it's a completed project and I go back, to, you know, a year later now, hopefully I'll have good documentation of. of how everything was working and if they're you know if it's a pi project or uh, arduino project i'll have that code it'll be accessible i'll have all the files because uh, it always seems like without a doubt even just having things on my actual computer like if it's not like on the forefront of my mind like i just i purge and i delete it and i move things around and then i can never go back and find them and so anyways long story short that's what the purpose of this is uh, this isn't intended to be like a, here's how you build a Voron. Like, so if you stumble across this, that's not what this is. Don't, don't follow what I'm going to do. This is probably a better don't or what not to do than it is a what to do. But I've definitely spent a good chunk of time looking at the manual, just kind of going over, you know, mentally building this and definitely is a bit more intimidating once you have all the parts in front of you like that's a lot of parts and then like that's an entire bag it looks like that's all going to be uh door hardware panel hardware accent pieces a lot of fan pieces i mean yeah just a ton of pieces uh electronic looks like a din rail mount Extruder. That's a clicky. 
Yeah, all right, so good lay of the land for the parts. Let's get that put back, and then we'll dig into the actual form box kit here. Yeah, I am excited to finally get one of these going, like I was kind of saying. If I've been looking into it. idea what that is. We'll figure it out. All right. Yeah, I've been having my, you know, I, I've been wanting to do one of these Vorons for quite a while. I'm pretty excited to finally get the chance to do it. In my head, I'm like, oh, it'll be a fun Saturday project. And it's like, Pfft. famous last words, right? Moons Motors. Mm. All right. Let's see what we got here. A couple of extrusions. I did reach out to a local countertop company and asking if they had any ruined small little two by two two by three pieces that they'd be willing to sell me and he said you don't even have to pay for them just come down and get them as long as they don't have to cut or finish or do anything else to it so i need to do that i think that'll be a pretty helpful part and this isn't bad but i mean you can definitely feel it's not not very flat and if we're gonna do it we might as well try and do it right so I have a machinist square and, you know, some other stuff like that, that would probably be it's like extruder pieces, bearings, and then the other. So that looks, I mean, I, it seems like a pancake stepper, which I thought that was part of the clockwork two thing with needing a diff. Hmm. I'll have to come back to that. Let's see. Uh, Z, Z pulleys. More bangs. Guitar stand rubber feet. Little angled pieces for that. So the frame. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. What we got here? Oh, hold on. That is. is that plate is bigger than my ender plate with the glass that is stout this is precision machine cast aluminum plate so the surface has marks of processing we tested the flatness of this plate to 0.1 millimeters oh really Five Deno, 45. Ooh, nice. I was wondering what kind of, uh, I knew it was the PI sheet, but I didn't know if it was gonna be the Voron design one or. Awesome, nice. Ooh. A box of, box of stuff. So you got power cord. Uh, exhaust foam, TTFE, oh, look at that. Looks like it comes with a PCB X and Y end stop board, which I did not think came with it. Z motor, or uh, Z pulleys, heater, Bed fuse, RJ45, thermistor, it looks like the rest of this is a couple, mostly all pulleys. Get back in there. Go home.
bag of zip ties. So, a whole boatload of wiring. Some do it yourself connectors. Fun. Looks like a relay. Oh, look at. So, as promised, they shipped the Dragon High Flow separate, but this, I didn't think it still came with something, but. I was excited right off the bat, but I think this might actually just be kind of a... Yeah. Undesirable. Huh, interesting. Okay. I thought I got two dragons there for a second. No, sir. Oh, anyways, uh, parts cooling fan, it looks like. And gates. Gates belts, drag chains, I feel pretty good for being generic chains, not that I know what good chains feel like, but anyhow. VHT tape, double sided tape. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's what dreams are made of. So, switch and outlet. Uh, DIN rail for that. So, I did print a couple of these, which is kind of a I know Steve has something similar that he uses, so I came up with this, which is just one. I wanted it to be uh, chamfered in the corner so that you're not like, there's that last little washer and you're trying to, so rounded edges. And then uh, instead of it being flat, I just kind of wanted it to be, why? I don't know. Anyways, turning into an ad. It's a lot of hardware. Hot end fan, exhaust fan, and two electronics fans, 32 gigabyte card, and then our inductive probe, which we're gonna go clicky, but good to have. Hey! Oh, dogs didn't like that. No. Go ruin something of your own. Five volt power supply, 24 volt power supply. We're actually not gonna use those. We're gonna use something different. TMC steppers, octopus, 3.1, or 3.1, yeah. Into the future, 1.1. Pull it din rails. Ooh. There we go. The goods. Definitely the big boy. I guess those are all the same size. like we've got our doors, top sides, panels. I saw that some people claimed or did or uh, not accusing, um, said they were getting ACM panels from the Formbot kits. These are, these are not ACM. It's, it's the sunshine, whatever that means. I did get some ACM panels from Printed Solid though, so I, uh, I didn't want to put all my ducks, 
in uh, in hoping that Formbot randomly sent those. So we'll have those anyways. All right. Well, it's a lot of stuff, a lot of pieces. I think that guy and that guy are gonna make this for a fun. Uh, so real quick, the power supplies that we are gonna use are the UHP series from Mean Whale. Mean well. Uh, so this is a five volts, 25 watt. This is five volts, 200 watts, and still 200 watts on the 24 volt. So we're not losing any capacity on the 24 volt side. We're gaining eight times the capacity on the five volt side. And we're actually in the same footprint as just the original 24 volt power supply, um, just for some of the extra lighting and small stuff like that so that's that's what we wanted to do but in the sake of space i didn't want to add this on top of the bigger supply and actually i have another project that needs a regular 24 volt power supply so i'm kind of double dipping and it works out um, one of the other things that we're going to try and do at the same time which might be a bad idea is uh my last trip while i was away i wanted to design and make some of my own PCBs finally. So I did um, and they showed up and I still can't wrap my head around how cheap these were from JLC. Let's see here. So yeah, I mean, two little guys. Uh, so this is actually the tool head board. And then I did a breakout board as well. That'll go down underneath in the electronics bay. Uh, so it's a 14 pin harness that'll go in between the two. Um, and as it says, credit goes to heart cake is obviously this is pretty much a straight, straight copy to a certain degree. Um, I did slightly modify the hot end uh, main body and then the cable cover to allow this to be moved out about two millimeters. Um, that way we didn't have that big gap here in the middle. We were able to kind of regain that real estate to make it a bit smaller. Um, I know one of the things too that he's been striving for, or does strive for, not, is that, uh, you know, those, the boards he has, they can be used on a plethora of different printers. So there's this trying to keep it able to accommodate a bunch of different uses. Well, I just want these to work on this one printer. So. Um, I did add some LEDs kind of for a little status light thing. And then there's also a um, dedicated temperature chamber thermistor. So again, might have been a big waste of time. Hopefully it uh, they work. Probably not the best experiment to do well building a Voron for the first time, but oh well. Aside from that, I think that's pretty straightforward. Everything else looks like it should be good to go. All right. Well, yeah, so this will be the first video. I don't know, uh, like I said, I, I'm sure this is gonna be a six, seven, eight night thing. Um, I've got until October 13th and it's September 27th right now. So, uh, We'll definitely get it knocked out and uh, should be fun but all right until then